We actually first heard about Potton from one of these self-build magazines and there was an article about the show centre up at St Neots and that's what triggered us to go up and have a look. We decided that if we were going to do this we needed to go and do some of the trainings that they did so we did an open visit, we then did a factory visit which was actually absolutely fascinating mm. and then we went over for our half build day seminar, seminar yeah. which was also very interesting. I would strongly recommend all of that yeah. so that you get a feel for what Potton's all about, how they do it and all of the issues behind self-build. We also had an interview with one of their project managers on yeah. site, didn't we? Mm. Which um, he was very helpful about. He was saying the various things that people were doing. There was someone building a barn in Scotland mm. and they were making this bit of the kitchen bigger and having this whole area as their living area. Mm. He was just saying there is so much that you can do. We can tweak whatever you want us to. Mm. But it was hugely helpful being able to walk round the size of the rooms at Potton, that to me made the difference. That was a great thing about Potton because you can start with a basic template or idea or one of their previously designed houses and literally sort of move everything around and do what you want so you end up with your bespoke house. If someone had said to me, what would you like to build? I would have found that quite a challenge. Mm. Whereas Bran had seen that they were building the Wickenbrook barn at Potton, so we went over and saw it, and then I could imagine what it would be like. And so that's how we landed up with the Wickenbrook. I got a feeling of trustworthiness about it. The sort of feeling you get when you walk into, say, John Lewis's. It's a, you know, you know you're getting, you, yeah, so I feel yeah. comfortable there. Yeah. You and like I had resource. exactly the same feeling with Potton. And um, <clears throat> when we went up there, the, the sort of culture of the people matched that perception. And I thought, yes, this is somebody I'm very happy to do business with. And we saw the plans for the barn, kept on looking at it and thinking, well, we can tweak this and tweak that. And that's the great thing about Potton, is that you can start with a plan uh, and just keep moving it around and move a wall in or out or what have you. In our case, we actually did a, a flip, a mirror image of the original show barn. Uh, because it just sat on the plot better that way. Shortly after we moved down here, I drove round all the local villages and took pictures of lots of houses. And what became very obvious by reviewing the pictures was that there was a lot of uh, flint and brick. I did a big printout of all these pictures and I said, look, that's what we've got around here. And he said, right, well, we'll put some big flint and brick panels on this house. It's made it look nice. It takes the local vernacular, as they say, and I think probably the planners are quite impressed with that too. That was another thing I'd strongly recommend, is that Potton do a package um, for finishing the design, submitting it and getting it through planning. Um, and there was a lot of tweaking about all of that, and he actually knew the planning uh, department here in Tess Valley, so that, that was valuable as well and in fact we sailed through planning even on their acceptance letter they said uh, this will be a significant improvement to the local uh, scene over the original little 1970s barn and I suspect they don't say that very often on a planning acceptance letter. The speed the timber frame went up was staggering. Yes. I, was, I was up in my little garden room when the van arrived, massive great van and a huge great forklift to get the bits off. At quarter past 11 in the morning the first frame went up and they were finished two weeks and two days later. The whole structure of the house was there. One of the builders who was working on this project used to work for a timber frame company but he looked around it and had a good feel of it and he said I've never seen timber frame as good as this and that was very reassuring for me and I wouldn't know I've never seen a bit of timber frame in my life before but it made me feel good to know that somebody who really knew his timber frames thought that we'd got something good. Our builders found Potton very helpful, so mm. if they ever had a query, they would ring them mm. and they would get it sorted mm. for them. Sean, who designed the Wickenbrook, came and spent quite a lot of time with us and we tweaked some of the things, like the utility room, because our um, builders said, 
this is the country you need a boot room. You can't have a stupid little utility room like that. So the stupid little utility room became plant, Brown's plant room, mm -hmm. and we built a bigger utility room. They tried very hard to persuade me that we would need no heating upstairs because the heat would rise. And I have to say, I wouldn't believe them. They all kept ensuring me that um, with the amount of insulation we've got and the underfloor heating downstairs, it would be fine. And I insisted they put radiators upstairs, which of course we've not had on. So it would have been fine. Overall, it took uh, almost exactly a year. I don't think that was too bad. It didn't really feel like ours for an awful long time. It's just about sunk in and we've been in nine months now, but we're absolutely delighted with it. My favourite's got to be my study in the cinema room. Man Cave. Man Cave. Which actually got bigger as uh, because Loveday was concerned the bedroom was getting too small, having put all the fitted cupboards in and radiators and we were going to be a bit tight either side of the bed. Um, and I just kept saying, yes, yeah, it's fine, we'll put another bit on. And eventually, I think loved a twig that my study was getting bigger and bigger, but I wasn't complaining. I love my snug because it's cosy and comfortable and just exactly how I wanted it to be. And I love the sitting room. The sitting room is cool and calm and just peaceful. Uh, and the kitchen. Actually, I love all of it. <laughs>